on my album State of Nature, I found while I was working on it, I realized that I'm deeply concerned about some of the issues with the environment and that I really felt passionately that I needed to make a statement about this. And so what I did was, while I was working on the album, I had two questions in my mind. One question was, how can it be that we can be so knowingly destructive to the environment and yet we don't change, we just stay stuck in this rut? And then the second question is, what can we change that would make us just naturally and spontaneously want to live more harmoniously with the natural world? And so while I was working on the music, I sort of used the music to help me to address these questions. And the basic approach that I would use is like this. You know how when you're doing any kind of um, endeavor, and music is no exception to this, you're always learning little things along the way. And you're always seeing examples of universal truth being played out in whatever your field of study is. So whenever I would see examples of that, I would look for the bigger frame of that and try to apply it to my two questions. And what I found is that it totally applied. And I got some insights into this whole thing that were really meaningful for me. So I was able to use the music not only as a way of finding some answers to these questions, but also as a way of expressing those answers in this form of, of my album. And so just to tell you some of the things that I, that I came to, one of the main things is this idea that we are a young species. We've only been here for a blink of the eye in geological time. And maybe it takes a new species, you know, a little bit of time to, to find its place, you know. And we're at this point where we are, we, we kind of have a sense of who we are and what our power is, but we don't really have a sense of where we fit into the larger frame. And so what we need to do is essentially complete our education. We need to move from this sort of adolescent or sort of teenage mentality to more of an adult mentality. And what maturity is basically about, the, the process of becoming more and more mature, is it basically, essentially what it is, is it's a process of becoming less and less self-centered and more and more global-centered or, or other-centered. And the way that this came to me in the music is that I was realizing that every step of the way, as I was working on my album, the things that I needed to do in order to come up with the best results musically always first involved working on me. It always involved some kind of improvement in, you know, maybe I needed to get more sleep, maybe I needed to eat higher octane food, or, or maybe I needed to um, basically do uh, physical exercises to get my circulation, get my flexibility. I found if I was more flexible in body, I could be more flexible in mind and therefore more creative. All kinds of specifics. But the general frame is that I found that, that the more I improved myself, the better my album would be. And that's when it hit me that all the things that I had to do to make the best album were the same things that we human beings need to do to create the best lifestyle sustainably on the planet. And once I made that connection, that everything started to fall into place. And so kind of following on that thread as far as completing our, our education, it all comes down to some sort of an expansion in mind. And this could be in different dimensions. So, for example, expansion in the time dimension. So instead of thinking, okay, you know, um, I just have seven weeks until this financial quarter is over. That's all I'm worried about, you know. Okay, but what about the next seven years? Or what about the next seven generations, you know? Or what about expanding our mind in space? By thinking, you know, okay, my yard looks fine, everything is good, you know, um, and especially since I just got rid of the trash, now everything looks great. Well, wait a minute, where did that trash go? It always goes somewhere, you know. Buckminster Fuller pointed out that that the, the, the nature of being on this spherical planet is that the inside and the outside, that they're 
every inside is also an outside. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you draw a circle in a, in, uh, on the surface of the earth and you make the, and you say everything in that circle is the inside and everything beyond that circle, that's the outside. Well, if you make that circle bigger and bigger and bigger, it's going to wrap around the planet and it's going to get small again and it's going to, it's, it's going to become an inside. So every inside is an outside. So where does that trash go? And so thinking on a bigger scale in terms of space, where does our junk go that we send out into space, you know? Okay. What about expanding in terms of our circle of care? Like, for example, do I only care about my immediate physical body, my myself with a conventional name, you know? Or am I also concerned about my immediate family? What about my tribe, my race, my nation, or people who are in the same socioeconomic category or whatever? You can keep expanding. What about others? species and so forth and and we need to expand that circle of care because even what we call evil a lot of times is that somebody cares but they care in too small of a circle and so yeah they're protecting somebody but they're protecting somebody at the expense of someone else that they're not thinking about and so on all these levels where there's time space compassion take your pick go on and on the point is is that we need to expand our minds one way or another. And that's what I was discovering that I had to do to make my album.